What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzz TV, and I'm your girl, Lady T. Y'all, Lifetime was so wrong for this Aaliyah movie. OMG, y'all. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> Words cannot express my disdain. Like, everything from the plot to the acting to the production was an epic fail. Epic fail, y'all hear me? First of all, matter of fact, that's how we are going to categorize this bullshit. I'm not even going to call this a review. I'm going to call this this bullshit. So we're going to categorize this bullshit from the fucked up production, the dumb, the stale ass acting, and the boring ass plot line. So let's get into it. Okay. First of all, let's talk about the production. We already knew what it, what Alexander Ship looked like. It had been pictures, you know, circulating around her dressed you know as Aaliyah. So we knew what that was gonna look like. But all the motherfuckers in this movie were off. Everybody. And the more I looked at her, I'm like, bitch, are you a Leah? You can't be a Leah, you're agent. You know what I'm saying? The more I looked at her, the more her features just threw me off. Then we see this skinny ass cracked down Missy Elliott. Like what the heck? Like God just picked her up off the corner. <laughs> and I'm like I know it's all about not necessarily picking the person that looks like the person that they're supposed to be betraying. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying y'all could have found some more talented people that could have resembled just a little bit more, especially with the Missy Elliott, y'all. She could have at least been a big girl. And I just was not here for it. Timberland looking like a broke down Drake. And then when they play his mute, his supposed track, I mean, it sounded like a broke down Timberland track. Like, it wasn't hot at all. And then, so, what else about the production that I did not like? Okay. Her singing. Okay, granted to me, Aaliyah was not the best singer. But her voice had something to it. This girl's voice was bland, very mediocre, stirred nothing up in me. So every time her performance scenes came up, I wanted to go and take a nap. I'm like, damn, bitch, I was hyped. Now you putting me to sleep. I don't know. Then another thing I didn't like about the production, her supposed performance scenes looked stiff and like it was on some type of video type I don't know, but the the even the performance scenes were sucky. Then okay, so let's go to the still acting. Oh my god. None of them outside of Elise Neal. This was crazy. Elise Neal was on this movie for like one point two seconds. And she gave me life as Gladys Knight. I'm sorry. I got to admit it. She did. She gave me life. The rest of these people were just so hum, dum, dum. And then the guy who's supposed to play in R. Kelly, he, every time he talked to Aaliyah, he has to go through these, you know, long montages of des, 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 declarations of love. And it's like, nigga, you can't even act your way out of a cereal box. Okay? So I'm going to need you to talk less. Because it was just dumb. <laughs> and the girl who played Aaliyah, boring. People was trying to warn me, too. They was like, well, you know she sucked in drumline, too. So what you think she going to do with Aaliyah? Well, I gave the bitch the benefit of the doubt. And I can admit when I was wrong. Okay. Sucky plot line. The movie was basically just a montage of... Her biggest accomplishments. We got no, we didn't really get any story. The only story we got was R. Kelly. We didn't get a chance to really get to know who she was. Yeah, you find out, okay, well, she was going through some CDs, you know, some demo CDs that she came across Missy and Timberland, and she fought for them. Okay, and we don't know how she was as a teenager. We just know that she was this innocent young girl outside of falling in love with this older man. And I think there was more to her than that. That's why you shouldn't do films like this without 
you know, the family's input or at least somebody who knew the person. Even if you didn't get the family's input, you know, there's friends, there's associates, business partners, anything. You guys talk to no one. And so it made the script like, you know, a reenactments of the prevalent events in her life. Like, I learned nothing. And I think a good biopic you learn something, you come away feeling some type of way. So it's not even about what people look like, but you didn't exude a lead, not only from that mediocre acting, but from this lame-ass script. So Lifetime, Wendy Williams, whoever else is involved, y'all get an epic F for epic fail. Peace and love. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And shout out to my peoples, Ashley Miller, Forrest Rocks, James Caldwell, Mr. Still Standing, that ghetto view. Anyway, guys, bye.